Hello everyone, welcome to another weekly market review. It is the 12th of April 2021. Altcoins have been doing really, really well, specifically what I mentioned, the BSC ecosystem. And we have Bitcoin starting to break out now. Let's have a look at what our game plan is. Total market cap on the weekly time frame. We have basically another positive week and this is quite a bullish formation. You can see stronger rejection, weaker rejection and a breakout retest. That's what we got a retest and a continuation. So very, very strong. The market has been looking absolutely incredible. And you can see the kind of consolidation we had. This is what I had plotted out. Um, I think a couple of days ago, we have broken out of the channel. We we're looking for a retest. We got that retest. Now we have begun to make a move further up. So I think this is clearly showing how strong this trend is, how strong this kind of a consolidation is. You know, just look at it. We had a strong push down, then a weaker push down. We had a breakout. This is the retest of the breakout. And then we break out of this channel, got a retest, much smaller consolidation. And now we're getting continuation. So only question for the market right now is will the odds follow? You know, so that's something for us to see. Here's the altcoin market cap, you know, and we're just looking at what potentially uh, the market structure could be, um, you know, assimilated as. And you can see basically we had one big impulse. This is from the bottom of March till August, you know, this was a lot of euphoria in August and we got a big dump in most of the altcoins and then a consolidation all the way till November, start to get another move up. And again, we had a consolidation in December, January was a strong impulse, you know, and then February and March was another consolidation. And now we have begun another impulse, you know, in, in April. So if you look at it, there's one big impulse is consolidation. It's another big impulse and a smaller consolidation. So I would say this is now what we would call the third big impulse and we are in the middle of it. So just to make sense of what the market has done as of now. And if you want to look at past results, I mean, we have in terms of the altcoin market cap, only just broken up from the previous all time high from Jan 2018 and retested it as support, you know, in late February. And you can see how bullish this consolidation has been. Just quickly look at the four hour. So again, you know, very steep correction, big impulse out of there, you know, much shallower. It was supporting the anchored VWAP band of this correction and you know, another big impulse out of there. So in terms of the altcoin market cap as well, all I would say is, you know, what, what I see a lot of times is, you know, price makes a big move from the 25th, you know, price made a big move. And then these are just like big shakeouts guys for the high leverage players, you know, and this is exactly what you don't want to get caught up in so you, you you don't want to be buying here like where we are right now this is ideally this is i mean not ideally but if you're really wanting to trade this is nowhere to buy what do you want to be buying if you're on a lower time frame is when you get these strong moves down or if you're on swing time frames these are the kind of places that you were looking to buy you're looking to buy here possibly once it broke market structure you know you're looking to add over here but you know breaking out of a channel a retest like total market cap we got that break out of the channel and retest so two or three days ago there were buy opportunities which is essentially this is what the market was doing a couple of days ago on the altcoin market cap chart it's pretty stretched what you could see on the total market cap chart break out of the channel retest so you know these are the kind of structures you want to be buying but just buying pumps i think even in a bull market it you end up losing money you know so 
just be mindful of that and just be mindful of um, key levels just be mindful of how stretched a move is you know just look at this move this is about a 40% move it's pretty steep so you should look at that now we've got one impulse like that now we likely midway of another impulse so just see how markets move guys and get dips or otherwise you just look for consolidations and i would say that we are on most assets we are out of most of the consolidations probably just DeFi is still lagging so it is left behind slightly but we were looking at exchange coins i showed you that ramp i showed you the retest of that ramp it is a great place to be managing risk bnb ftt all of these coins are doing well so just look for these consolidations look for the structure look for the breakouts and the retests of these structures apart from that and outside of that you know just forming into moves when price is moving up it will just leave you poor you know so just don't do that and i think for now if feb and march you were part of that uh, gang who was going long in that consolidation and looking for upside you're basically just looking for places to move your stops you know move your stops up once price confirms move your stops up once price confirms another structure just move your stops up and essentially for crypto for now that is all that you should be doing unless you're trading very low time frames bitcoin quickly looking at the weekly time frame you can see we've had a big chop and grind over here you know after the feb uh, after the feb sell off you know we there's still just so much so much demand you know if you've been watching the statistics that i've been putting out on twitter just how many coins exchanging hands leaving exchanges you know i would just say just look at this slow weekly breakout you know that we are getting and what i had said last last week was that monthly open becomes a key key level you know so last week again we have the highest ever weekly close you know this is we're getting after march so a month of consolidation another weekly close that's edging higher let's look at it on the daily daily just look at the structure you know big sell off strong move up you know not such a strong sell off now previous weekly open and now uh, end of the week last week we broke above this monthly open level so i think this is still a key key level and a very solid level this looks slightly on a lower time frame makes sense of what is going on so i would say that once we have broken up from this monthly open we're testing it sitting above it you know holding it as support in terms of the four hour you look at this level you know this is the key block we broke down tested it as resistance had a stronger move down came back up still held as resistance one sec i'll just these were the equal highs you know looking at a reaction from there last to last week and what we did get is a very decent reaction this was a great place to be managing risk for upside you know if you were with us you know we were really looking to capitalize on this drop we got a good reaction from here and basically what we've done is we have started to trade into this key resistance you know so it has weakened significantly this three day level also price is starting to fight with it but what i would say is right now we can't completely be sure that this is going to impulse into a strong move you know because i think for bitcoin it's currently in a different uh part of its cycle what it's doing is there's just a lot of supply over here you know i think and what i would say is that these are the people who are front running 100k because what you're seeing right now guys is a uh, quite a bit of capital moving into altcoins because psychologically you know just think about it 100k btc is a very very big level you know even technically it is you know if you watched uh, my macro special in august or i think 2019 was another time when i was doing some macro charting on btc so 100k technically and psychologically is just such a big level i would say that people who 
uh, old hodlers or even a lot of the bigger capital that got in 10 20 k's 30 k a lot of them it just this has basically been a front run of that 100k take profit area because you have to understand when you have too much liquidity you want to make sure that there is big demand which is there to absorb that liquidity so this i would say has been a result of that this kind of consolidation on bitcoin that we are getting right now currently over the last over the weekend you know i think uh, coinbase has had a negative premium which means that you know it could be a bit of suppression waiting for the cmes you know and since so much institutional uh, capital is in we have to keep a half an eye on cme the premium and you know what the weekend does and for now you know we we've had a pretty small wick so i would say i'm still not completely confident this just breaks out and rips up we could still get a bit of chop but if you are still looking to be managing risk this monthly open and channel bottom this is still a very great place if price can come down here this would be a really sorry mid channel this would still be a good place to manage risk for bitcoin if you're looking in the nearer term you know but otherwise for a swing i think this 7th april level was pretty good but then you need a kind of a structure and you can see what we've done the structure a breakout and a retest of it so if you know there is still suppression this would be the level to be managing risk for further upside we lose this if we are you know if the market rejects that and bitcoin still has a lot more sideways to come then i would say we would still need to come back and uh, this anchored we were banned along with the 4 hour block over here so somewhere around the high 56k's that would be an interesting place to get a reaction so for now in the medium term again um 60k monthly open this is a great great level if price can give it to you again but you can see what we did all we can we got absorption here for now this is still confirmed as resistance but a very very significant 4 hour resistance level price is now trading within it so overall the market is just reflecting a lot of strength there is no signs of uh, weakness and there is no signs that would lead us to flip our bias in any kind of way large caps against btc you know this is a great looking chart on the weekly time frame right now currently we had a very solid resistance level you can see that this was the up move the block on the weekly block that led to the break in market structure down here so this is a very very significant resistance level that we are at for for the large caps so you know what you want is for let's just go down to daily so what you want is for price to flip this into support and once we once we can do that you know there this is thin air all the way i think there's another 20 30% move wow yeah it's it's more it's about a 50 60% move before there's any kind of price action before that so it's very very interesting if you know the entire market can rally i mean we haven't seen that we haven't seen all move along with bitcoin there is another potentiality which a lot of people are thinking about and looking at that we have some kind of a mid term top on bitcoin and that's the reason that you know now altcoins are even your old large caps they're all gaining in value and there's others who have this uh, perspective that we could be doing something like what we did in 2017 so i mean it is still not confirmed but what is confirmed is these uptrends you know this is a confirmed uptrend this is a confirmed inverse head and shoulders just look at it up here even on the daily time frame you know it's a very clean inverted head and shoulders breakout and a retest confirmation of that breakout so you know this is an uptrend currently at a very significant resistance i think this cannot be uh, taken for granted so it is possible i think that if btc does end up getting an impulse uh, 
altcoins still do that seesaw and you know large caps don't follow they go a bit sideways while bitcoin does that the next btc sideways we get uh, another impulse so it is possible that the market continues to do that seesaw but we have a confirmed uptrend over here and currently at a very big resistance level here's DeFi against btc and i mean we're still in a similar setup as we were last week you know a whole week of uh, possibly a bunch of sideways and this is the key level you know and look look at the reaction we have gotten from here still a significant level of resistance what you can see is you know we were finding support at a much lower level so it would still be progress if this anchored vwap band from anchored vwap from the top of the august rejection if this continues to hold you know if this continues to hold as support and you know price can still slowly grind up i would say that there is potential for another impulse like what we got in january but still defi has been a lagging sector uh f since we got this big move in jan uh, something to watch out for it is still a long consolidation which has gotten longer you know it's m more than two months now so yet to be confirmed but you know getting stronger because consolidations are happening at higher levels i would say this anchored vwap band is lost then you'd be looking for price to come all the way back down this would not be so bullish for DeFi, so then uh, this is against BTC. So this is what we want to see. If you want to see strength, need this breakout up from here. But also, I mean, if we had to get a move down on a BTC impulse, you would like this, uh, like this anchored VWAP to be holding. It's for traditional markets on a slightly macro time frame. What we're looking at is Dow Gold. You know, this is shows the risk on and risk off behavior of the market. And what you can see in terms of the macro, you know, from 2011, you know, big, big impulse all the way to 2018, you know, a lot of chop and sideways in the traditional markets, but that big correction. And what we've done now this week is, is we've confirmed that reversal, you know, this on a weekly time frame. So this is very, very macro, but this shows that now we have, this is basically the high that made this low took this entire liquidity down here you know so you know 2014 15 16 this three years of consolidation we took that entire liquidity you know consolidated at that support level and made a big impulse out of it so you can see that you know there is phases when the market can do this you know just be so risk on and continue a big uptrend here's a 176% move you know uh, this is 1400 days so that's a, about four years and what have we done yet we've already made a 60 percent move you know over one thirds of that time it's about a year slightly more than a year so you can see that now we have a confirmed uh, basically we've confirmed the high basic that made the low we have made a higher high there is potential for that higher low and i spoke about it in correlation to the wix and i did say that once the wix starts to break below 20 and starts to consolidate below 20 the next sell-off you know that's going to be a superb superb place to manage risk for a much longer uptrend you know you could be holding those positions for two to three years possibly even longer so we are in this phase we i think we, this is what we've done if you look at it on a weekly time frame right here we broke the high that broke the high that made the low continue to impulse and you know on the next sell off it was still a great place to be managing risk you know if you're looking at very high time frames because price has just been moving up since then so we in a similar phase could still continue to impulse but the next big sell off we get and i would say it should be sometime th this year within 2021 you get that next sell off you know just tell your friends and family buy it with both hands you know it's just be a great macro picture time frame to manage your risk so for traditional markets we're still sticking to the theme that i had mentioned two to three weeks ago april is 
good time for tech in terms of seasonality also we have this really nice breakout and retest on a higher time frame tech against financials and uh, another theme that we had been looking at was uh, growth against value you know uh, yeah right here so you can see this is another breakout and retest on a very high time frame both are doing very well tech and tech against financials you can see growth against value this is what where i mentioned it two weeks ago and making good progress growth stocks so tech and growth if you can um, move into that sector we looked at semis but if just tech and growth large cap tech this is a good time to be looking for upside in these sectors so looking at gold i have just not looked at this since uh, since a while i think the last time i charted it for you guys was somewhere around october and november given two key levels to be able to manage risk from just on a higher time frame you know still if you look at gold you know what we've done we made a very very strong impulse this is from october to 2018 guys you know it's a big big impulse new all time highs now we we've, we've gotten that correction you know and this correction you know it's currently this is the consolidation the distribution from the previous cycle on gold you know this is essentially where we're looking for gold to stabilize and right now it is you know there is still there is still time to prove that this level is you know solid enough but what we are looking at guys just just look at the last time gold is doing something like that it, this these are big assets you know it's not like crypto everything is happening at you know micro time frames we need to f form a new swing level essentially the old swing level is still close to 1500 and what i would say is if you get 1500 on gold like 1550 1550 1560 on gold i think it would be a big buy because you on a high time frame this is still a confirmed uptrend you know so everybody who's shitting on gold and you know saying bitcoin has taken all the funds off of it you know this is still a titan you know and it is very clearly in an uptrend in an environment where all assets are still getting repriced so if you do get like 1550 1560 on gold you just buy it with both hands though you know i don't i'm not sure if that can happen we got this significant yearly level i had mapped it out it's a fantastic place to be able to manage risk it's the gp but also a yearly level from this uh, march impulse you know this is covid impulse and what i would say what we need to see for gold to prove that it's ready to move back up is to reclaim this quarterly level but most of all start to structure out outside of this channel you know because this has been quite a steep down move and we haven't really stabilized enough yet but you know we have to structure out of this channel which would show that price you know and momentum is now stabilizing once it can do that and reclaim this quarterly level you know this is a lost uh support because we confirmed it support support broke down tested it as a resistance so we can reclaim this and break out of this channel i would say gold is ready to make that next move up so if you don't want to be caught in that chop you can wait for that otherwise this has been a great level to manage risk if you're looking to accumulate on a higher time frame we lose that then the 1560 uh, level the 1560 1550 level is the one that i'd be looking for you know which is again another very significant quarterly high time frame level i haven't marked it out here yet probably should just do that right now so there are significant support levels below you know and since we have made that breakout we should see which one of these levels is the one that holds if this is the one you need confirmation up here If you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and go ahead and share it with someone else and if you have any questions about what we covered today please leave them in the comments and i will be sure to get back to you or answer them in my next video 
For more trading content and education, go ahead and click on the video on your right. Thanks for watching, guys, and cheers!